I know what it's like to to struggle with the pornography. The first time I saw it, I was probably in second grade, you know, finding some dirty little magazine in the street. You know, what's that? You know, what do we do with it? And you know, my friend said, let's keep it. I said, well, where do we put it? And he said, let's put it at your house. I said, that's a good idea. You know, but that began just this vicious cycle of, you know, for years and years. And I didn't get rid of the junk until I was probably 17 years old. But it was all always this kind of, this false consolation where if I'm, you know, bored or lonely or angry or stressed or tired, I mean, you'd go to that. And, and it became almost like this drug that whenever I took it, you know, it would give this immediate little high and then there's a crash afterwards. And then you, you're more lonely afterwards. You feel further from God, you know, but if we can just come to him with the mess that we are, realizing I don't have to have it all together. It's like, I just need to come to him as the wounded son that I am and realize that holiness is more his work in me than it is my own self-reliance.